what we look at across the board, are our employees making a livable wage? And, and the answer is yes. Minimum wage is up this month. It's the final base wage increase for Oregon since lawmakers announced annual raises back in 2016. In Portland, that brings the hourly wage up to $15.45 an hour. K2's Megan Ellison joins us live now outside Bar Casa Valet. And Megan, you talked to bars and restaurants offering above minimum wage. Why are they doing that? Yeah, Steve, a few business owners say this could be a way to keep quality employees and also keep people working in Portland. Some are raising wages for servers, others cooks, but they all agree this could set an example for the community. Uh, it's not a lot. Yeah. Nate Tilden owns restaurants across Portland. Right now, on average, his cooks are making $18 an hour. But with the recent minimum wage increase, several will make up to 20. When minimum wage goes up, that means the front of house to uh, have the lion's share of the tips um, are, are being paid more. Um, and so we have to raise back a house too, because there's no way you can be equitable and, and not do a cost of living increase. Tilden says this is a way to keep people working in Portland. We need our staff to be here. Um, if you live you know, deep in the suburbs and it takes you an hour to get to work, we're not gonna be a sustainable place for you to work. Maybe some will travel that far, but there are jobs out there in the suburbs or beyond that are also attractive. At Dixie Tavern, Dan Lenzen is now offering an entry wage of $16 an hour. Employees there can also make up to $28 an hour. My goal in, in doing this is to be able to um, send the message to other folks that if we can afford it, let's pay our staff um, more than minimum wage so that they can have a decent wage to live on. Lenzen tells us he believes business will only improve if employees are happy. If we are paying our staff to uh, host everybody, I think we have a great opportunity for folks to be able to experience this FOMO with people that are excited to be working. Under the recent minimum wage increase, standard counties such as Lane County will now offer $14.20 an hour. In non-urban places like Coos County, the rate is $13.20 an hour. I also talked to the owner here about how this will impact menu prices. I'll show you what customers can expect coming up tonight at 6. Yeah, Steve, at restaurants like this one, owners tell me you have to keep wages competitive to attract employees. Staff here say they adjust wages by about 10% every year. That's good news for employees, but customers can expect an increase in menu prices as well. At Dixie Tavern, the minimum wage is now $16 an hour. Owner Dan Lenzen says employees can make up to $28 an hour and also earn tips. Because the business can afford it, let's pay everybody more than minimum wage so that um, we can retain people um, and to be able to do that we need to offer more than others at bar Casavale, servers get a larger share of tips because of that nate tilden increased wages for cooks to make closer to twenty dollars an hour and that will impact prices there was a menu price on something that was $10, and now I realize I do the math and to pay our people an equitable wage and to not buy crappy products and to have, actually have good food to put on the plate, which is incredibly important to us and one of our core values. Um, I go, well, that $10 thing now has to be a $12 thing. Under the recent minimum wage increase, standard counties such as Lane County will now offer $14.20 an hour. In non-urban places like Coos County, the rate is $13.20 an hour. That compares to the national minimum wage of $7.25 an hour. Starting next year, the minimum wage will be adjusted every July based on the consumer price index. And the rate will still vary based on the county where you work. We're live in Southeast Portland. Megan Allison, K2 News.